Shalom brothers and sisters. Today there's going to be a lot of news. This is catch up for me and there's so much happening in the world right now. <laughs> it is ridiculous how fast things are coming together just before our exit. If anyone is not excited at this stage, you need to talk to me because we need to get your excitement amped because Jesus is not just at the door, he's through the door, he's assembling the ranks of angels and he's preparing to come and fetch his bride. And that's besides the fact that this one angel still hasn't figured out how to blow the trumpet. But we'll get there. Right, so what I wanted to start with today is just to show you how ready the world is for the end times, for the Antichrist, for the beast system, for the revived Roman Empire, for the one world, everything. <clears throat> Sorry, very excited. Netflix. Right? We've talked about the media before, Disney, everything. We've done this. But now Netflix has just released a new show that has dropped six episodes. Six. Right? Very good number for Netflix on this show, specifically about what it's entailing. It is called The Chosen One. Right? It's about a little boy that is basically the, the setup they're giving you from the beginning is that this is Jesus reborn in this little immigrant boy because they're fleeing to another country. His mother is Mary Christian's son. Because, I mean, we don't want to be too obvious that they're modeling this after Mary in the Bible. And she is implanted by some shadowy organization with this embryo and given money because she has a drug habit and alcohol issues and everything. Sounds very holy. So when the baby's born, instead of handing it over, she flees with the child because she's decided these people are up to no good. So already, this is where we're at. Then over the next few episodes, they're detailing his healings, there's always a dark side to them. He, he heals a truck driver from the verge of death, but the guy comes back like a zombie and uh, eventually kills himself. At one stage, when his best friend gets killed, he brings him back mega large, but everybody else dies in the process. And at the end of the day, when his friend then gets involved, then they bring everyone else back again. So there's always this evil dark twist. He has a bunch of girls washing his feet and then looking at him lustfully. And then they play the whole sexual card as well. And, and let me just point out, they're, they're modeling this on a, look, this is Jesus. He doesn't want to take his shirt off ever. And eventually Magda, Magdalene, his girlfriend, that's that whole angle they're going for, asks him why. And he says it's because he was born with the scar on his ribs. And he shows her and it's where the spear would have gone through. That's why he's got the scar. It's a complete derogatory, blasphemous, rip-off attack on Jesus Christ. But it gets better. <laughs> if that wasn't enough for you, he finds out, because now he hands himself over, eventually, to the shadowy organization that's been looking after him from the background all along. He finds out his real father is Satan, not God. So he's the Antichrist. He becomes the president of the United States. And the entire series will end with him getting on Air Force One on his way to, wait for it, drum roll, Israel. Because the biggest war ever is happening. The media has been programmed to prepare you for what's lying ahead, just in case you're not a Christian that's bouncing quite soon. The Antichrist rising to power, displaying miraculous signs and wonders, and making himself out to be Jesus Christ, and deceiving many. And the show shows all these believers following him and flocking to him for healings and things like that. And then eventually heading to Israel for this massive war that's coming. And as the leader of the free world, in this case in the show, it's you know Air Force One and everything, but we know it'll be the whole world. And the whole beast system. So that's where they're at. It's literally, it's that in your face. It's crazy. Now, I, I couldn't sit through most of this because it's really, it's blasphemous. It's ridiculous. Uh, I wouldn't advise you watch it if, you, if you're going to get upset really quickly. But it, it's really, it's attacking us. And at the same time, it's showing what lies 
at the door right now? Why would they prepare the world this well if it's only happening in 10 years' time, 20 years' time, 30 years' time? Why, why even bother? Because by then, the series will be forgotten. These kind of warnings and preparations through the media would be nothing. But here we are. So either me and my conspiracy pals with our tinfoil hats are right or we're absolutely psychotically crazy and just nobody is seeing anything because nothing's wrong. I'm going to go with we're right because all along the word of God hasn't been wrong once. The word of God always near at hand always correct always spot on no other book has ever had that except the word of god that's why we cling to it it is the truth so again exciting times there's a lot of high watch moments happening now there's the whole talk around the fact that the jews could be off again with their calendar and everything is just out and if we look at the star systems all these things are worth noting also pointing to the fact that we are in an extremely high watch time period and rushing towards Rosh Hashanah at the next point. So it's going to be interesting to watch. The world, the evil dark side of the world is getting excited and getting ready and rushing and pushing everything through. And you'll see that today in most of the videos I release. The news is crazy. I can barely keep up so if i'm slow on responding to comments and things like that i'm sorry emails as well i'm seeing your emails as i'm dashing from one thing to the next and just making sure the lord's guiding me on everything that i'm finding and what i'm sharing and and just digging and preparing the body for what lies ahead because we are so close so close god bless keep looking up shalom